Folks, I promised a uh, multi-track recording demo here of how you, you can do this in Adobe Audition. So what I've done, uh, before when I did my first tutorial for Audition, we were in waveform mode. And I pull, I could pull waves in or whatever I wanted to do and edit those waves. And this is the individual way you edit those individual waves. So if I wanted to just edit this real drums track, or I think it's real drums, you can see up here that I have this. This all comes from Band in a Box, by the way. Program that lets you, you know, uh, create backing tracks. So what I have here, I have the backing tracks from a band in a box uh, uh, style that they have. These are all real session players playing these parts here. And this is me playing the guitar up here where this TLG wave is. So anyway, it's me playing some guitar. This is intended to be sort of soundtrack. Well, to do multi-track, you of course you bring all your different tracks in and you go to the multi-track here. And what I've already done, I went ahead and already pulled these over here. If I were to want to pull another track in here, I, I should be able to pull it in. I think maybe it just gives me an extra track, so it automatically builds a track. I'm going to pull them over to the very beginning, because I know that all these tracks start at the right place. I've got TLG Guitar in twice. I don't want that, so I'm going to click on it. I'm going to hit Delete, the Delete key, and get rid of that. So there we go. I've got uh, drums, bass, organ, electric guitar, acoustic, Tony guitar. And you can call these anything you want to. The way I, When they first came in, I guess they probably just came in as track one, two, three, four. I can't remember. Let's, let's try that doing that again. I think it comes in, yeah, it comes in as TLG guitar. It comes in as track one here. See? So I'm going to delete that again. Delete. The reason I bring it up is you can title these. You can call this Tony uh, Telecaster or whatever like that. That's really what I'm playing here. It's actually a PV Telecaster with uh, a uh, piezo in it. So I use some acoustic sounds on this piece of music. So anyway, I have all these in. They're already synced up because when I exported from Band in a Box, they were all synced up. And when I export the waves, they're all going to start at just the right place. So everything doesn't, nothing has to be, uh, you know, I'm going to say aligned here. Everything's okay. So what I've got, I have these, uh, and when I brought them in, I've already gone and done a bit of, of a uh, of effect work with these, but just so you see, here they all are, and, I, and I'll show you what I've done in just a moment, but let me play just a little bit of it so you can see. Here's your transport down here at the bottom. So I'll hit play. I have another transport window open. You'll see why in just a moment. I'm not going to bore you with that piece of music just yet. <laughs> I'll bore you with the rest of it here in a minute. So you can see what I've got here uh, on this acoustic guitar. I've got it like set to two minus 2.4. This is your uh, volume here, your decibels. So you got decibels here, and here you have pan. So with this uh, acoustic guitar, I've got it pan just a little bit, it looks like, to the right. And I've got the uh, volume set here. If I want to go in and change any of these, I can. I can do that from, from right here. Now, if, if I hit play, it doesn't record what I, what I change, but watch. That's volume. Here's Pam. If I want to solo it, I just do that. So I got a solo here. If I want to mute it, just click here and mute the guitar. Just mute everything. Now we're just listening to organ, bass, and drums. Take the drums out. Now we're just listening to bass and organ naturally. Just like with any other mixing program. Okay, so, um, so I've got pan and I've got uh, volume and all here that I can do. I can change the names. There's just a good bit of stuff you can do here, but most people really like to look at these things in the mixer window. And so you've got a, uh, a mixer tab up here that you can click on where you can hit, I think it's option two, and option two will pull up your mixer. So anyway, so here we have the mixer. And so Tony, I want to add some stuff. I want to add some effects. Well, I've already added some effects to this, like this, uh, Base here, I thought it needed a little bit of compression, so I added a tube compressor to it. Uh, let's say I wanted to add, I don't know, some, I don't know why I want to add reverb to that. Let's see what we got here organ, electric guitar. I got a flange on this electric guitar here. Maybe I want to add some reverb to this. So, what I might do, I might solo this, just hit the solo, and I can go here. That's already got flange on there, but I can click this and I can go to reverb. Maybe I get studio reverb. 
and I can click on some of the defaults here, like maybe it's guitar, uh, amp, verb, stereo. Let's try that. And I say I probably want mostly dry 70 30. Yeah, let's give it about 74 20 or something like that. I don't know. Let's see what we got. And so I'm going to close or actually pull that to the side here just for a second. Or I can just hit the, I can hit the space bar and I can listen to what it sounds like. That's with a whole lot more wet, see? And I can turn that on or off with that too. say I like that but you can pick any of these different reverbs you can change your room size always and you can do this for all of the different um, you know plugins that you have whether it's compression or whether it's flanges and choruses and G wah wahs and distortions and all kinds of cool effects you got there but I'm gonna go ahead and close that so now I actually have two effects here on this uh, electric guitar I'm gonna click the uh, solo button again just to be so I can listen to everything again and if I hit play here you can see See this here? This moves a little bit. That's not me doing this right now. This is something I've already pre-programmed. So naturally people, you know, when they see a mixer, they say, oh, I want to be able to grab these things and pull them around. And, and that's cool. You do want to be able to do that. And a lot of people like to think, I like to grab a whole bunch of these at once and do things. Well, you know, if you've got great skill and you have a console hooked up to this uh, via USB or something, then you can actually sit there with your fingers and do four or five tracks at a time. I like to just do one at a time, and, and I do it with my mouse. So here I've got this acoustic guitar that I want to be able to change over time. So you see I've set this to latch. If I had it to read, then it would just be reading previous uh, edits that I've done, but I'm going to set it to latch. And that means that when I hit play here in a minute, everything, I'm going to go back to the beginning, everything is going to be recorded that I do with this, this fader here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play, and let's do some of that. Take it all the way down just for a second to show you. Right, so I'm going to hit stop. Now I'm going to go back to just read on this, right? And so now you should see my moves here with this. If I go back to the beginning again, I'm going to click this again to go all the way back to the very beginning of the piece of music. And we'll hit play and watch what happens. You're watching this track. And that's not me moving it now. You can see my mouse is over here. So trust me, that's me uh, pre-recorded doing these moves. So you can go back each time and you can check whichever track you want to by switching it to latch. Or you can do three or four tracks at a time and do latch and go up and down with them and it'll, it'll do that. Um, you know, and there's, so there's different ways you can do this. But that's generally the way that I do it. And so you're able to set parameters and all of your tracks. You can do that with your uh, with your pan or anything else. Like let's say I wanted to do that, I guess with this with this track here. I go back to latch on this. So this will be me. So here's my pan stereo balance here, and I'm going to go back and forth a little bit with this. So let's kind of go back to the beginning again, and we're going to hit play. So listen to the changes I make.
there you go. You saw me messing around with my little jangly sounding guitar. Let's go back to read. Take it back to the beginning. And let's see what happens with these pans. If it did reflect, it did indeed uh, save them. And there we go. You see them happening. See that right there, folks? That's me previously doing that. So there are a, a lot of other things I could show, but you can see here's all kinds of ways you can pull effects in. I don't know why I didn't put this in this. I must have had something here and then taken it out. But I tell you what I might do, I might save this piece of music somewhere just so you can actually hear how it sounds after I mixed it down and made it sound good, because right now it just sounds terrible, <laughs> me playing around with it. But there you go. That's just how you can at least go in and start doing some, some mixing with multi-track. Now I'm gonna say File, Save up here. I'm just gonna save everything. And if I want to export this, I can say file, of course, export a multi-track mix down, entire session, and it's going to give me Tony Roots Rock mix down wave. And I can choose whatever I want to. I can change it to, uh, you know, the sample, change sample times. I can change, you know, what format it's going to go out in. Usually I use wave, but, you know, AIFF is a good possibility as well. If you want to go to MP3, that's lossless, or it's, it has, is lossy, not lossless. Wave or, or AIFF is a good way to do it. That's generally what most people do. There you go, folks. Hopefully that's helped. And peace to all who watch. Subscribe to my channel if you like. If you have additional questions about this sort of process with or anything else with Audition, I'm not the super ultimate expert on it, but I've used it for quite a few years and gotten some good results with it uh, over time. So hopefully this has helped. Uh, subscribe to my channel.